the absolute best way to start every mix. Next on Music Surgery with me, Dr. Bob. You don't need this standing mixer or a stack of nesting bowls. All you need is this 13 inch metal mixing bowl. Very funny sound. Getting to the finish line of a mix is talked about endlessly on many YouTube channels, including this one. But what about the start of the race coming out of the chute hot? Let me show you a technique that I start every mix off with for any genre or any type of song that immediately sets me in the right direction. All right, guys, first, let me just say real quick, if this was a song that was coming into me to mix that I'd not produced or didn't know anything about, I always demand a rough mix so I can kind of hear what their song sounds like in totality, the things they're keying on, kind of their panning, because most of the time they've been working on this a long time and they have a lot of great ideas that I want to copy, just to make it sound better and wider and punchier, or whatever. So this is actually a song that I produce myself. So I've ahead of time, I've gone and, um, you know, I've got compression and EQ and things and panning on channels. So now I'm ready to start my mix. So let me start at the top of the song and show you this approach. Obviously, I know the song starts with these elements, so let's find out whether those are. Okay, getting a balance together. Um, things are sounding good. Vocals out front. Um, I'm looking good here at my master bus compression. Not too much. Not going past three, anything like that. Let's listen again. Okay, cool. Let's go to the chorus. But that map died. I grew up in the Philippines. Now, you can see our problem. When I get to the chorus, everything's blowing up. Let me look at my master bus here. So, the problem that we've encountered here is I've started mixing at probably the softest spot of the song. So, let me go to the biggest part of the song and start mixing there because you can also you can always mix backwards. You can always mix gain down when you're at your peak you're gained out, you're out of headroom. So, let me start over. Pulling faders down when you mix like this in, in, in buses is no big deal, man. Mix this way. I have no problem pulling down. These could, this, could re this represents everything on here. And it's no problem because I just pull the faders down to start over. So, 
let me start mixing at the loudest part of the song so then I can mix backward from there. Already, I've rebalanced my mix from the loudest point. Now, let me go back to the verse and let's fill in the blank. Where'd I get my accent from? How I learned to drink like that? Spitfire from my mama I got the backbone from my dad There's a whole lot to who I am But that map died I grew up in the of me a little more. Okay, we still have one problem How do I bridge soft parts of the song To loud parts of the song? How do I make this all make sense? There's one common denominator the factor that you can cue everything off of and know you're safe obviously mix wise it's to make sure we're not going too far in our master bus uh, compression here but the way to get from a soft section of the song like a, a, a much sparser verse to a louder section like the chorus always gauge it off of the lead vocal the lead vocal should stay the same right now it's not the same it's quieter in the in the uh, chorus. There's a whole lot to who I am, but that map died. I grew up in the Tennessee side of me, a little more country in the way I speak. So now that I'm kind of close in both sections, let me get the vocal level the same, and then tweak from there. There's a whole. Checking to now make sure the lead vocal is the same throughout the bridge, the gap, the bridge to transition from the verse to the chorus. There's a whole lot to who I am, but that map died. I grew up in the Tennessee side of me. A little more country in the way I speak. Just a little more sweet. Okay, now let me check that transition with the instruments in. There's a whole lot to who I am, but that map died. I grew up in the Tennessee side. Anything. 
And there you have it. That quickly, I got a nice transition to almost nothing there to a more full chorus. Now, you can imagine if this was a sparse chorus and then a gigantic rock chorus, it would take a little more work. But gauge it off of the lead vocal. The lead vocal is always your focus. It's always the listener's focus, even though we love guitars and bass and snare drums and all that. If the lead vocal can stay the same through these sections, you know that that is your barometer and you can weave in and out and make things bigger and smaller from there. But let's listen to the t from the top now and see if we have a nice transition and um, all of our Master bus compression levels are cool. Let's listen. Where'd I get my accent from? How I learned to drink like that. I get the spit fire from my mama. I got the backbone from my dad. There's a whole Perfect. Now, the uh, the difference in some of the dynamics in the verse and chorus, some limiting at the end of the mix will take care of that, even though we don't want a ton because we want the song to grow from little to big. But that's how you do it. Start every mix at the biggest part of the song. Maybe even the second chorus where everything is growing, everything you know the big is in the song. Get that feeling good. Get that roughed in. And you can easily go out from there and make things smaller. And remember, your lead vocal is the bridge between everything. Lead vocal pretty much stays the same. And things grow and shrink underneath that. And you'll have good dynamics. And it's a great way to gauge a mix. This awesome technique solves gain staging issues, dynamic and flow issues, transitional issues between sections, and keeps you on focus while the song and the mix evolve. Hey, you guys, I want to get rich from YouTube. Some put the right script up there. That is not the script that we... Hey, guys, please take time to subscribe and ring the bell below to notify you of new surgeries. Also, take a look around in my store for some great cheap and free stuff. And one last thing, the Doctor's Lounge is open and in full swing. Come on, join us, get some amazing samples, stems, or one-on-one -on -one mix, production, or music advice. This is a really cool and super affordable thing, so check it out and see if it's for you. All the links are below in the description of this video. Thanks a lot. Thanks as always for watching. Give me some comment love and a thumbs up below and hit me at drbobmusicsurgery at gmail.com if you want to say hello or you want me to work on your music. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you the next time the doctor's in.